so if you wanted to do something like uh, for example python development or python programming in emacs you can actually configure your emacs to look something like this if you want or uh, you can use some nice packages to make it work really nice so in the left you are seeing this as the file browser it's called tree max so there are two options either you can use neo tree or you can use tree max and you have like other choices also but uh, these two are popular so i'm using tree max for this i will show you the configuration in a moment i'm just uh, going to give you the demo how this works and i will show you how to like uh, set it up something like this so what i've done is i have done some window splits so like my buffers are split into look this manner that's all it's not something special so the first thing is we can have this new file one.py and for example if we do print you can do you can see like if i do prin you can see it automatically detects its print so we have intelligent completions and if i open up brackets you can see we have this two-sided brackets opening at the same time so this is a package called electric like electric power mode it's built into emacs then you can type something like hello world for example if you type something wrong for example if i type something just four you can see this is a flight check mode so flight check gives you errors the list of errors so if you need to view that you, all you have to do is all text and fly checklist errors or you can see the key binding for that so i will show you in a moment how you can configure this also so let's close that out and the next thing is we can like uh, this is terminal inside emacs so i'm using ansi term so if you hit all text in your normal buffer or any other buffer and if you do an ansi term it will open up a new buffer with your terminal so what i've done is like uh, i just uh, made it look something like this with the help of uh, my buffer split so Control g to exit that out and i have installed something called macit for managing git and all the other stuff so there is one more package in this so that's yas snippet so for example if i do angle bracket fr for example if I hit tab you can see how this snippet readily available so i can like reduce the time while i'm doing something by having such small snippets already either written by me or you can copy the snippets from somebody else from github or gitlab that's up to you so i can type like 0 comma 10 and it's going to do that now we can save this file with Control x Control s we can run this file with uh, python 3 like for example you can type python space the file name but in my case i need to type python 3 and file name and if i hit enter you can see it's printing out hello world and it's giving me that loop which i have given over here so if i need to make changes to this like if i need to commit this inside a git repository i can do Control x g it's going to give me maggot status so i have already created a git repository if you happen it's going to ask you whether you need to create something over here in this portion after creating that if you need to make staging you can hit s so it will stage the file you can do c and it will ask you how you want to commit and you can do a normal commit with c typing c again and in this one you can type like something that is useful and if you hit Control c Control c it's going to write that commit out so you can see we have two commits initial commit and the second commit which we have added just now so there is one more package like egglot which we haven't discussed so egglot is the language server which we are using so for example if i navigate to this range it's going to give me this pop-up information and all this stuff which are required for python it's going to handle pretty much the completion for uh, like my python stuff and all the other stuff and before you set up egglot in your system 
all you have to do is uh, sudo pip install uh, let me switch to first buffer let me increase the font size python dash language dash server so you need to execute this command in your terminal or your prompt commercial or whatever you are using so you need to use uh, you need to have a language server so if you do this it's going to install the python language server for your system so that's that so the way i set this up is like control x1 you can see my normally my emacs will look something like this so what i've done is control x and 2 to split it like this and here I'm going to split it control x3 so I'm going to get this so what I did was like I made it slight visually changing like I made some changes over here and if I hit f8 it's going to open up remax and here I will have like control x uh, like alt x I open up ansi term specify my shell we have ansi terminal over here and in this buffer for example i can do uh, not in this buffer let's do like um, alt text and let's pop up fly checker list and i'm just going to make that over here so control x b and i'm just going to select uh, fly check error list so i have my errors over here here in this one control x b i can open up my code file so you can see how this setup works so if you want you can write an elist function to open your emacs in this mode like or make your emacs look like this each and every time you enter python mode that's up to you so the way you can configure all these packages is let me close everything so uh, let's leave that for now control x control f and let me go to my configuration so dot emacs d and i have my configuration file so let's go to control x1 for normal view f8 to minimize remax control x control plus and page down so the first one is projectile so use package projectile will make sure and ensure t will make sure it's installed in your emacs and i'm just enabling projectile mode everywhere the next thing is uh, Tremax. So Tremax is this. You can see that over here. So use package Tremax. Make sure it's installed. And specifying key binding F8. For my case, if you need some other key, you can define that over here. And I'm specifying that to Tremax. And inside this, I'm configuring Tremax to never act as other window. So I can switch easily inside my emacs then i have tremax projectile which will do an automatic detection of uh, my projects so if i have some git repository inside a directory it's going to automatically detect the project directory stuff like that then i have flight check so flight check is for error checking so use package flight check ensure t and i'm making sure fly check is available everywhere when i open up emacs so if you just want for python you can do like for instead of this you can specify something like python mode hook and uh, global fly check mode over here next package is company mode so company mode gives you this intelligent completions so if i do a control c single quote you can see i have this special Thing over here this is for uh, managing my source block inside my org file so here if i type something like uh, use for example dash p you can see it give me this intelligent completion so this is from uh, company mode so control c and single quote to close that out so we are making sure it's available globally and the next one is maggot so Control x g to bring up maggot you can specify your like if you don't have a git repository in the beginning it's going to ask you something like this then 
we have egglot egglot i'm using egglot as my language server so use package egglot make sure it's installed and whenever i'm entering python mode it's going to enable egglot so that's what i'm doing over here then electric pass is actually built into emacs so we want to see them in action let me show you like uh, here if i open a normal bracket you can see the pair bracket is automatically displayed so if i do a double quote you can see this so it helps me out with all this stuff so like uh, control c single quote to close that out and i'm specifying my snippets with yeah snippet so if you need to specify a new snippet you can do all text uh, yeah stash new snippet and here inside this you can give your snippet a name so uh, you can specify like a while loop for example so because i'm in an org mode buffer i can do something like uh, elisp src for example and the key will be angle bracket el so this will be the key which we specify and if we hit tab after this it's going to bring up that block and here will be your actual snippet for example hash plus uh, begin underscore src and emacs dash lisp and here i can put dollar zero so dollar zero will be like uh, the place where your cursor will be available after your snippets created so hash plus and src i forgot an underscore over here so and if i save this so control x control s so it's going to ask me where i want to save my snippets so elisp src i can do something and hit enter and let's close this and here now if i do a star and space elisp uh, some package name and if i do ankle bracket and el and hit tab i already have two snippets created if you don't have two snippets created for same key it's going to ask you which uh, like it's not going to ask you anything because i have created uh, same key for two snippets it's going to ask me which one i want to choose so if i choose that i have my source block so that's pretty much it for this video i hope uh, this one was helpful i hope you all have a wonderful day